what is going on everybody welcome back to another husky video i hope you guys have enjoyed that little intro that we just did i just got some new equipment so i'm trying to test out the cinematic features that this equipment has so let me let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have actually enjoyed that cinematic feature because this is my first time testing it out and i really would love your guys feedback on that but Today, we are currently at the brand new adult park that my neighborhood had just built. Like they literally just finished building it maybe uh, about a month ago. And this is our first time filming here. And I think the pups actually like it. Like I like the agility course that they've done here. They have not only just this ramp, but they have this little one as well. And a nice little bit like jumping session and stuff like that. So we're going to be coming out here and filming in this area quite often. And I'm probably going to do a video as well um, with the pups actually doing the agility course. And see how well they actually do it. Because I've been thinking about putting them in agility training. So I would love to see how that would fare here at this park. Now, in today's video, I am actually going to be talking about... 10 different coat variations of the Siberian Husky breed because a lot of people do not know all of the different variations when it comes to Siberian Huskies. Like there are around 28 to possibly 30, mainly 28, I think. I think it's like mainly 28, but it's like 28 variations of the Siberian Husky coats. So you have like the, um, and I'm mainly talking about colors. They have there's so many different color patterns to a Siberian Husky, and a lot of people confuses uh, the Siberian Huskies for different breeds of dogs. So today, we're just going to be going over ten of those. I'm going to break this down into three different videos. So if you guys are new to this channel, then make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up, and you turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss the other parts of the information I'm gonna be giving you guys today when it comes to Siberian Huskies, okay? So, with that being said, let's get started. So the first Husky that we are going to be talking about today is going to be the Isabel or the Isabella Husky, depending on how you would like to pronounce it. Um, but that is the same coat pattern as Loki, which is my male that sticking his head through the bench. But these Huskies coats are typically like an orange and white, as you can see from his coat. It's orange and white, or it can be like a beige and white. Um, a lot of people confuse it as an off-white Husky, but it's really like an orange and white. And I've normally seen these huskies either with long hair like how he has his or like a plushed kind of like coat um which is not really as long as his coat but just a little bit shorter now these huskies often have combinations that's not easy to distinguish but the way how you can tell if you have a isabel husky is one just check and see if you see any oranges in their coat as well as the white patterns and the main reason come here come here i'm sorry the main way you can tell sit let me see that drop it is their nose so come here buddy let me see he has a pink nose isabel huskies will always have Come here, buddy. Will always have a pink nose. You see that right there? They will always have a pink nose. So if you're husky, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. So if you have a husky that has like a pink nose and they're white with like orange spots or anything in it, more than likely you have an Isabel husky. The second husky that we're going to be talking about today would be the chocolate husky. Now, yeah, I said that right. Chocolate husky. So these are. Oh, she's pooping. Okay. So the chocolate husky is basically picture Loki and picture him just thrown in like a big tub full of chocolate and just coming out of it. That's literally what he looks like. It's like a nice, rich, brown kind of like texture or coat. I'm sorry, coat color. And 
they can be like long haired. I've actually seen one that's um, not short haired, but plushed kind of like, but they're mainly long hair and they normally have brown eyes to go along with their coats. So that's really all it is to a chocolate husky. It does not, I mean, it's very easy to distinguish if you have a chocolate husky or not. Now, sometimes their coat will not be all brown some of them may have like little white spots like maybe like a white um like white markings on their paw like a white paw or something like that or maybe like a white line on their chest but for for the most part they're all brown which will make them a chocolate husky the next one that we're going to be talking about today would have to be the rarest of the bunch which is the all white husky so the all white huskies is not the normal husky Right, so these huskies can be confused for like Alaskan Malamutes or Alaskan Huskies, um, and even the like the the Spitz breed, they can be confused for that. But the all white husky is just that; they're all white. Um, they come in the long fur, like how husky, like how Loki got his. They can be um, all white woolly. That's how they can get confused for. A, um, a Samoyan, which is not technically a husky, but they are closely related to the husky breed, but they're not. They're a completely separate breed. So a lot of people can confuse them with that depending on how big the, the pup is. But that's exactly what they are. They're just all white and they come in various shapes and or sizes. What you got? Is that a pine cone? Is that a pine cone? Nyla? She dropped it. All right, so the next one that we're going to be talking about is personally my favorite uh, color of most of the entire breed. Like, I absolutely love my dogs. Like, my, my, my girl is beautiful. I absolutely love Loki. He is such a gorgeous dog. But for some reason, the all-black Siberian Husky just hits different. I absolutely love the all-black Siberian Huskies. Um, and that's exactly what they are. They're just strictly all black. There's no other, like, patterns that they have. Some of them may have, of course, the white paw, maybe the white streak on their stomach. But other than that, they're typically all black with no other variations whatsoever. And they have... They can either have the blue or brown eyes, but they typically have blue eyes, which showcases them being huskies and not getting confused as an actual wolf, even though they're all black and a lot of people can confuse them for a wolf anyway. So yeah, that it will be this one. It's just a straight all black Siberian Husky. They can come with long hair. I have seen some with long, I've seen some with long hair. I have seen some with short hair, but an all black with long hair, that is an absolute beautiful dog. The next one that is up on the list, I'm gonna give you two for this one. It is the gray and white and the silver and white Huskies. These are two different coat variations, but they are extremely similar and it is very easy to confuse them. The silver and white Husky tends to have a more of a lighter, coat than the gray and white one now the gray and white one is not to get confused with the next one we're going to be talking about and that is the wolf gray husky but we'll get into that one in just a second but the gray and white one will obviously be purely gray uh, more so of a darker gray than the silver and then it will have its white patterns um around its body so earlier I talked about the gray wolf husky. Now, the gray wolf husky will have similar like markings like Nyla here. For example, um, they will have the, instead of black, right? They will have uh, like a dark gray. They will have the orange kind of like hue, right? Going along their body somewhat somewhere. And then of course they're gonna have the white. Now, that would, be the only way at least for me to be able to distinguish a gray wolf husky from an actual gray and white husky or a silver and white husky so make sure that you pay attention to that make sure that they would have like all three colors now we'll say this though is that they do have different color intensities intensities yeah intensities um so basically you will still see all three of the colors but one may be more than the other 
you might have more gray you might have more tan it just depends on the dog but if you take a look at the other huskies you'll notice that it resembles a gray wolf which therefore you have a gray wolf husky so the next one that we have on the list is the sable or sable and white husky that is exactly what nyla is so a sable husky or a sable and white husky is a husky with all four colors that's going to be the black the tan the white and the gray now you can find these huskies short haired plushed or you can find them long haired like a woolly as that's what nyla is she is a sable and white woolly husky now a lot of people confuse the sable huskies with a goudies now an a goudy husky if i can give you guys a quick example now look come here sit and a goudy husky looks more so like a gray uh, a gray wolf husky instead of having white on their face they're actually going to have black um, so they're going to have more of a darker face than white on their face and because Nala has like white and tan as well as like the gray on her face, she is not an Agouti and a lot of people confuse her with an Agouti. Some people confuse her with a, uh, a Border Collie, but go ahead, baby, but that's exactly what an Agouti Husky is. Um, they do have i believe they have i uh, i'm not sure if they have all four colors i believe they have all three colors i believe they have three colors which is the black uh the tan and the white but it's the dark face that is going to make them stand out as a a gaudy husky versus a sable or a wolf gray husky all right so the very last one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be a very unique type of husky which is the bi eye colored husky so this husky can come with any kind of color pattern or like uh length of hair or anything like that it can come with any type of coat pattern the only thing that's going to make it so different is the fact that it has two different colored eyes typically it's going to be one brown and one blue eye i have seen one that is like kind of like one black eye and one um brown eye which is very unique but that's what it is it's typically going to have two different colored eyes okay so that is 10 different types of huskies and i hope you guys have found all of that information helpful today let me know down in the comment section below if there is a specific husky that you have that i have listed today if not i will be making a part two and a part three to this video to talk about the rest of the husky types so if that's something that you're interested in then please make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up please make sure you subscribe and you turn on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel also don't forget to head on over to all of our socials make sure you guys follow us on tiktok instagram as well as facebook to get real life updates as well as funny videos and more okay so with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day take care